You've even probably heard people call Mars our second home, or Earth S twin, or even the third, rock from the sun. But let's be real, it's not exactly a great place to live. So why do we keep going back? In this video, we're gonna find out if Mars is really our second home. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and the second smallest in the solar system after Mercury. It's often called a desert planet because of its reddish surface and the fact that it s dry as a bone. The name Mars comes from the Roman god of war, and in ancient times, people thought the planet was a fiery red color because of all the bloodshed and violence. Our first close look at Mars came from NASA S Mariner 9 orbiter in 1971. The photos revealed a pale, sandy-colored planet with huge volcanoes and deep canyons. Mariner 9 also found that Mars had no global magnetic field, which meant that the atmosphere wasn't being protected from the sun's deadly radiation, and without a strong magnetic field, any atmosphere would quickly be stripped away into space. But we kept going back. The Viking 1 mission landed on Mars in 1976 and sent back the first close-up images of the surface. It found evidence of past or even present life and organic material. Other missions have discovered methane gas, which could mean that there's still water on Mars. In 2021, NASA S Perseverance rover is searching for signs of ancient life and collecting samples for the first human explorers. Scientists believe that Mars was once much warmer and wetter than it is now. There were oceans, lakes, and rivers, and maybe even life. But over billions of years, the planet's climate changed. The atmosphere became thinner, the water froze, and the temperature dropped. Today, Mars has a super-thin atmosphere, mostly made up of carbon dioxide with very little oxygen. If you wanted to breathe on Mars, you'd need a spacesuit. On average, temperatures drop to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and during the winter, carbon dioxide freezes and creates massive snowstorms that can cover the entire planet for months. So why do we keep going back? Because even though Mars is frozen, dry, and dangerous, it's also beautiful. The thin atmosphere means that the night sky is filled with stars. The cold keeps the ground free of clouds, so you can see clearly for thousands of miles. And although there are no trees on Mars, the frozen carbon dioxide creates amazing ice formations and crystal clear glaciers. With enough technology, we might one day be able to live on Mars. We already have oxygen generators, spacesuits, and underground habitats. And if we can create a dome-like structure, we might be able to grow plants and even have pets. One day we might have colonies on Mars with people living, working, and raising families. It would be humanity's greatest adventure. Now check out more videos about the amazing planet Mars. Click the link on screen now.